Hello everyone, this is Diane. It's a Saturday and I am going to be working on this journal for a friend of mine who loves penguins. She's kind of obsessed. Her living room is full of penguins and she just loves penguins. So she asked me a while ago to make her a journal when I had a chance to. And she had given me some of the things that she's collected. Plus, I started collecting some things. I already had a couple. Not that I wanted to make a penguin journal. I just had some stuff that had penguins on it. But when she asked me to do that, I um, found some more things and added them to the pile. So yesterday, actually in the middle of the night again, still not sleeping, I came in here and I cut, chose papers and cut them and I mod podged this piece. This is a piece that she gave me and I had this paper which I thought was really cool. I just took a plain off-white cover that's about um, six inches by eight and a half inches and that's what I'm going to use to make the book cover. But I glued, I mod podged this piece of scrapbook paper down and then mod podged this penguin. I thought he was really cool for the cover. For the pages, um, I decided to go with blue, black, and white. So I just found some scrapbooking paper, some ledger paper. I have this vintage grad, graph paper, music. Um, this is just a sheet of drawing paper. Some blue airmail paper and some more ledger. And then I put an envelope in the middle. She gave me one envelope and it's red. So we do have some red in here, but it has a penguin on it. So I have to put it in there. But the other ones just have a blue envelope in the middle. The other things that she gave me, though, that we have, actually I found this somewhere, maybe at, a, at, at the Salvation Army, but I, you know, I had to get that. So that'll be some journaling places. Um, I had this book that I found. Um, what I do with the rest of the pages? I don't. They're not in here, are they? I had pages set aside to go in this journal, and then I didn't stick them in. Oh, here they are. Great. Oh, there's more stuff over here, too. All right. So these are the pages that I'm going to put in the book. I just forgot to put them in the signature. Um, I'll have to trim them down a little bit, looks like. But it's called Baby Penguin at Home on the Ice. So I have one page for each signature. They're quite sturdy pages. <clears throat> and then I had one page left over, so I might just cut out these images and use them. Maybe some of the words. I don't know. She gave me some cards that I can include in the signature, maybe. I have plenty of pages in there, but I'm not going to copy dye. I'm not going to do as much embellishing as I usually do, I think, because she's not into junk journals. She just wanted me to put these penguins in a book for her. These photographs are actually photo photos that I took at a zoo. And I found them when I was going through my um, photo albums before I moved. I took pictures out of my albums and put them in boxes because I don't have room to put albums. I don't have bookshelves. So I found these penguin pictures and I thought I should put those in Donna's book. And I think she sent me this picture. I think these are penguins from her collection. It looks like there's a Christmas tree there. Um, she sent me some wrapping paper, or not sent me, she gave me wrapping paper pieces, some little flashcard type of things. This is a computer printout of a Christmas card. Um, we had a surprise birthday party for her one time, and her friend that planned it had these penguin paper pieces all on the tables as like confetti. So we have penguin confetti. <clears throat> and I think that I might make some paper clips out of those. That'll be fun. She gave me a whole bunch of stickers and I'm really not into using stickers that much, but look at all these stickers. So I'll put some of them in her book, probably not all of them. 
There's a little bookmark. Yes, I am reading, and yep, this is a penguin. <laughs> Cute. It's not penguin stuff. There's this little playing card. I think I had that one. A little piece of ribbon, fabric ribbon. This adorable penguin. Hallmark. Valentine, you've got style. There's that one, and then there's these silhouette penguins. So there's plenty to work with. Um, and then I was thinking about fabric for the spine. I've got, I don't. I'm, I want to put the little tiny pom poms at the bottom of some of the pages. I don't know if I'll use the white or the blue or both. But I thought this was really fun. Just the shape of the pieces on that. I thought it was really fun. But it introduces more colors in here that aren't in the book. Well, the yellow and the green. Because there's blue, white, and gray in the book, but not the yellow and the green. And this one it goes really well. And it is polka dot, so that's fun too. But I haven't really decided on which one I should use. So... I am going to get started on this. First of all, I will trim these and find a place to put them. I had a really rough start to the day just because I my sleep is really, really bad. So it's wearing on me. And I felt very rough when I got up, which wasn't until, what time did I get up? Almost nine. I was up so late. I mean, I went to bed, but I had to get back up again because I wasn't sleeping. And I did my Bible reading. And I made some popovers, so it was a brunch instead of a breakfast or a lunch. Popovers and scrambled eggs, bacon, which is usually what we have for Christmas in my family. And then as soon as I was done eating, I closed my eyes. I was on the couch and up for close to an hour, but it still makes it rough to get through the day when you're sleep deprived. I'm going to try to get some stuff done today. It is Saturday. I can be a little more relaxed. I could be as relaxed as I want to be any other day. Some of these papers I'm going to trim also. But I don't want to get lazy. I, I, I keep busy. I'm churning out journals. We're going to be doing a baby shower for a young couple in our church. You know, it's so sad that people are missing out on social interactions like that. And this is a big deal for them their first baby and you can't get together for a shower. So we have a, a walkway going up to our church door. I'm gonna start by putting some pom-poms on the bottom of some of the pages. And there's a covered, like a little roof over that walkway. And then there's a foyer with glass doors. So we're going to have a table set up on the walkway where we can go, we can bring our gifts and put them on the table, but Fawn and her husband Isaac will be sitting inside the foyer well, it's like between the two doors. So anyway, they're going to be sitting there um, with the door between us and them, but they can see us as we bring their gifts. We can wave to them. It's kind of a sad way to do a shower, but it's really also very good 
so that they know that we love them and we're with them in this as their church family and friends. So my daughter and I ordered some items from Amazon yesterday and an adorable cute basket to put everything in so we're going together on our gift. I want to use the blue. Just put some three in one glue right along the edge here. Also feeling bad for my granddaughter, Monica, because she's a senior. And she is missing out on the last half, the last quarter of her senior year. And she's very social. She's in sports. She has friends. She's missing out on all of that. And she'll be missing out on her graduation ceremony. Which is, I just, it just made me cry yesterday thinking about it. I'm not, I was never very, very social, but I had my group of friends. I loved my senior year, and I loved my graduation, and how sad to miss out on that. Oh, I just smacked the camera. Maybe I'll put white in the center. <coughs> like I said, today is Saturday, and I just finished making the chocolate journals and smash books this week so I had said that maybe I would I, I like to bake on Saturdays I don't every Saturday but sometimes especially now that we're quarantined I do more of it <clears throat> but I was thinking of making a chocolate layer cake today so we'll see if I have energy for that My friend Donna that likes the penguins isn't really a lacy girl. I think I might cut, I don't know, I was thinking maybe cut one of these pom-poms off at the center because you just fold it in on itself and kind of stack the pom-poms up. But I don't want to ruin the look on one side of the page. So we'll see. If I feel like I need to, I will cut off this pom-pom right there. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's pretty close to the fold. It doesn't ruin the look of the page. It's so cute.
All right, now we have pom-poms on the bottoms of the pages. And I want to add, I think right on the very front of each signature, I'm going to put one of these penguins, because I have a lot of them. I'll discard the one that's all wrinkled on the front. So that'll be a cute little journaling spot at the beginning of each page. Signature, I mean. And that'll be a nice <clears throat> surprise for her because she didn't give me this little tablet. That'll be a surprise. This adorable penguin waving at her. So cute. No wonder she likes penguins. Hmm. Oh, you guys, I have to tell you the huge boo boo I made yesterday. I've got, I had to get a new laptop. So I got that back in. July, I think, June or July. <clears throat> and I had all my downloads and stuff on my old laptop, which I couldn't even turn on. So I started a while, you know, way back, I started going through my Etsy where you go to your purchases and then you can download your purchases again if you've downloaded digitals. So I, I had been doing that. So my, plus I have purchased some new ones since I bought my new computer. So all of these downloads are just a mess in my laptop. And I had them all organized into folders and I spent hours doing that on my old computer. But they were arranged differently. It was very confusing to me to try to find anything but I've been playing around and trying to change how things are looking, how they appear to me on the page and organized. And I finally figured out how to organize them so that I knew where to look for something. And then I could actually start organizing them into folders. There. They're so cute. So I um, started putting them into folders of different categories. Some of some of them are like a theme, like um, if it's something I have a lot of, ladies, I have a theme. Oh, I should have trimmed this before I put the pom-pom on. That's okay. If I put some, a little bit of trim on the edge, that'll hide that. Not a big deal. Um, and then I have a category of journal cards, which, you know, a lot of things will go in that category, so a folder. But um, tags. I don't know, I have a lot of folders. But one of them was journal kits. So unless the kit went into a specific category, a theme, that I would... If I want to make a journal with a Jane Austen theme, I would go to my Jane Austen journal, and my Jane Austen kit is in there. But other journals that I didn't really have a, a folder for, they just go into the journal kit folder. And then I, so I got a lot of that done. I've been doing it for days. I am going to have to trim some of this off, because it's, this one was sticking out too far. That's not going to work. I have to cut that part right off. Oh, I can't put it on the cutter because the pom-poms are too thick. I'll just try to cut it straight. Anyway, so I had been working on it for a long time. I was almost done 
with what I had on that computer. In the meantime, I had gotten my old laptop fixed so that I can turn it on, but it's really, really, really slow. So I haven't really done anything with it, but I can, I can get in it. So all of my digitals that I had purchased um, that were in folders and stuff, that they're already organized in there in folders, but I've repurchased or re-downloaded, not repurchased, but I've re-downloaded some. <laughs> I got quite a mess to figure out. So I hadn't even gotten to where I would open up my old laptop and start extracting things out of that. But I had pretty much finished organizing everything that was already downloaded onto my new one. And then I deleted the junk journal file, the junk journal kit file folder. It's gone. <laughs> when I went to put something else in that folder and it wasn't there, I was like, no! So disappointing. And I don't know how to retrieve something that you've already deleted. I know you can, but it's far beyond my skill. So I went back to Etsy and downloaded again everything back through through June. Because I know if it if it was before that, it's in a folder on my old laptop and I'll take it off of that. But now I've I downloaded the stuff, but now I have to, but I didn't have to download anything that wasn't a journal kit because everything else is still in my laptop. Does this make sense to you? Do you even care? <sighs> but I didn't have to download, you know, if I bought a set of tags or even if it was um, a themed journal kit that was already in a different folder, I didn't have to re-download that. So now I have to put all the stuff I re-downloaded into the folder. So here we go again. Now I want to put a pocket here. I have these scraps from the cutoffs. They're kind of thin, so I'll probably back them onto some white cardstock, which I brought in. I only have one sheet, looks like. Oh, I've got a couple. I have a few sheets of white cardstock, so we should be good. So the pages are I'm gonna cut the pocket five and a quarter. I should make the paper clips too. After I make one pocket, I'll do the paper clips. measurements are going to be. I'm cutting them three inches high. this to the cardstock and then while the glue dries I'll make a paper clip So 
So when that dries, I'll cut it out and then I'll cut a notch in it. But for now, let's do some paper clips. I already have one that I cut out. I'm going to glue them to some cardstock before I finish fussy cutting them out. I just want to cut closer to the image. But they're on very thin paper. That was too much glue. got my next few journals um, in my mind and pulled out folders or whatever whatever I have to go with them. So do you want to know what the lineup is? I don't want to plan too far ahead but I don't know for some reason I was just feeling anxious about what I was going to be making. Not anxious as in anxiety, but what's what's coming down the pipe? Kind of anxious. So I decided after this penguin journal, I figured I better get this done because she asked me before Christmas and I told her I'd make it after Christmas. She said she wasn't in a hurry. But I figured let's get it done while I'm on quarantine and getting a lot of journals done. And then I want to make some TNs, and I chose uh, an ephemeris vintage garden kit that I've had for a long time, and I already had it printed. And there's plenty of pages that I can make at least two journals, and it's Miss Nellie. So I'm going to make two or three journals with that. And I think strawberries after that, because I want to make my strawberry journals like before strawberry season. And I don't know about where you live, but in the Northeast, it's mid-June we get our strawberries. And I've, I've been finding a lot of strawberry stuff. I had collected quite a bit, and then when I was making the chocolate journals, I was going through my recipes, and I found recipes that featured strawberries, so... I have those. So I'm pretty anxious to get going on Strawberry Book. And then after that, I think after the Strawberry Journal, I think I was going to do... I have a list somewhere. Here it is. Yeah, glue books. So right around the end of May, I'll be working on glue books. I've had people asking about them. I'm going to get my circle punch. Then my, my supervisor had asked me to make a baby boy journal or a baby that will be born in July. So I think that'll come after the glue books just to get it done. I don't see my supervisor a lot, especially now, but she's in charge of a large area of um, stores that carry Hallmark. And... Uh, all, I think most of her most of her stores are in New York, of course, because we live so close to the border. But she does come down to Pennsylvania to our store. That's not where I wanted to put it. Don't put it there. Where does this go? Anyway, so I don't even when we're when we're working, I don't see her a lot. It goes here. So I want to make sure I get it done in plenty of time. So when she comes down to our store, I'll have it ready. I 
So that's as far as I've gotten in my planning, and that's plenty, don't you think? I think this is, I think I must have taken a page out of here to put this pocket on. But where did I put it? Did I stick it inside another journal? There's one. Oh, I know I had a pocket out for this a page out, but it might have been one with pom-poms and I don't want to, do I want to put it on the pom-pom page? Yeah, why not? Yeah, we can put it on a pom-pom page. So my brain is muddy from lack of sleep. That's going to be my excuse for a while. It's so frustrating because I don't have to get up early for anything, to watching kids or going to work or anything. And I was doing well at having a good kind of a routine of going to bed earlier and getting up good. But that's just really gone. Gone. Gone, gone. So, I mean, I, like I said, it, it's great that I don't have to get up early so I can sleep in when I need to and I can take a nap when I need to, which is pretty much every day. But, I don't know, I just wanted to... I'm going to put one of these stickers on here. I wanted to be able to have a good set up a good schedule and get some stuff oh some stuff accomplished. I'm still working on unpacking some boxes because I kind of ran out of places to put things, but I'm reorganizing some things that that will work better for me and so I'm working on that a little bit. I am getting some stuff done, but I just don't feel good. Perfect. Now, the penguins are probably dry enough to cut out. have cable or satellite or anything to my TV. I have Amazon Prime so I can watch Amazon Prime shows and I have Netflix and Hulu and I can't watch Hulu on my TV. I need to get one of those, I always forget what they're called, the sticks. I need to get one, but I'm, I'm not going to while we're quarantined because I need somebody to help me get it going, you know. I don't want to buy one and then be frustrated that I can't figure it out. I saw some at Walmart and I thought about getting them, but nope. I'm going to wait till my son can come and help me. But I might have to call him anyway. So anyway, my son-in-law was able to... They came on Easter. They, he was able to get my TV to um, show Hulu. I was just watching it on my laptop. And I could watch Amazon on my TV. But it's an older TV, so it wasn't compatible with... I don't know. Anyway, he set up Hulu for me. And now all... Not Hulu... Amazon. I was watching Amazon on my laptop. So he set it up so I could watch Amazon on my TV. But he can't set up Hulu. I need the stick for that. So anyway, I was watching Amazon stuff on my TV. And now I can't. It just... And I can't watch uh, Netflix either. It won't connect. I don't know if I need a new router. I always have trouble having things stay connected. 
And then when I try to connect them, it says it can't connect to that router. Although they were connected to begin with. It's just all this stuff I don't understand, and it's so super frustrating. It, I'm almost thinking it's worth it to pay the money for a satellite and not deal with all this internet stuff. But satellite is so expensive. So I'm back to watching Amazon on my laptop, and I can't even watch Hulu on my laptop because I can see the advertisements, and then when the show starts, the picture goes away. All of this was all happening in one night. Like, I, I couldn't find stuff to watch because I couldn't watch it on this. I couldn't watch it on that. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to watch YouTube all the time. So I put a DVD in and watched a DVD. You know, these are third world, third world problems. I mean, first world problems, right? But it's frustrating. Trying to remember how to do this. Am I doing it right? I don't know if I am. I told you my brain was muddy. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I didn't. You know what? How did I work those other ones? What did I do with my paper clips? I used to know right where they were. They were on a shelf over my head. Here they are. So this is open. Ah, that's what I did wrong. Darn, I need to cut out the piece. I need to cut out another piece of cardstock. I backed them to make them sturdier, but I still need a backing piece for the paper clip. That's what I need. Sorry about that. And I could... <sighs> yeah, the paper clip shows on the back for these. So you heard my saga about sleeplessness and internet entertainment issues. I can still watch you. Oh, now my phone's ringing. Um, I'm going to answer that. It's my daughter-in-law, so I'll come back with more penguin video.